Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a new week. And also welcome to day seven of our intentional work with God. I hope we woke up well this morning. So can we just start by thanking God for the grace to see this beautiful week, for the grace to see this wonderful day. It's not by power, it's not by might, but it's just of his mercy. That we are not consumed. Can you say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace to be here this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace to be alive this morning. It's just by your mercy. It's just by your mercy. It's just by your grace. Hey, Lord, I worship you. Let go, son. Lord, I worship you for being alive today, for being among the living soul. It's not by power, it's not by might, but it's just by your mercy. Lord, I say thank you for your mercy. Father, I say thank you for your mercy. Let go, son. The Bible says that it's by his mercies that we are not consumed. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy at work in my life. Thank you for your mercy at work in my life. Thank you for existence. Thank you for the grace to know you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, not by power, not by might, but by the Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus, for your spirit within me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you lift up your voice? Can you say, Lord, I say thank you. 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 Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for this new week because this week is a great success for me. This week is my week of great testimony. This week is my week of favor. Because I experience your glory this week. I experience your favor this week. I experience your hand in my life this week. I experience your hand in my life this week. Your mighty hands that do it brilliantly. I experience it in my life. Zedosa, Zadai, Zedekebetosa die. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rekopata pate pelepeko parakati atosa die. Oh, glory be to your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So quickly, we'll be going into this week charge. And the charge for this morning is taken from the book of Romans. The charge for this morning is taken from the book of Romans 8 verse 14. Romans 8 verse 14 says, For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Our charge this morning is tagged, led by the Spirit of God. So as we are going into this week, we are going into this week as a child of God, being led by the Spirit. Yes, we are going into this week with the consciousness that we are the children of God. But the Bible says, for those who are led by the Spirit are the children of God. So as you are going into your week this morning, we are going with that consciousness. We are going into the week with that consciousness that what makes us his child is when we are led by the Spirit of God. When we yield to the instructions of the Spirit. When we yield to the nudgings of the Spirit. When we yield to the things of the Spirit. That is when we can be called the child of God. So as we are going into our week, we are conscious that we have the Spirit of God in us. We are not living by our own will, but we are, we are living by the will of the Father. Glory be to God. And somebody say, I am led by the spirit of god as i go into this week i am led by the spirit of god see there are a lot of advantages of being led by his spirit when we are led by his spirit we begin to walk in his will we know because we know his will for us is the best for us can you say the will of god for me is the best for me i shut up about here the will of the of god for me is the best for me the will of god for me is the best for me so we are going into this week with the consciousness that we are led by the spirit we walk and yield to the instructions of the spirit we walk and yield to the instructions of the spirit galatians 5 verse 16 to 17 says so i say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh now galatians 5 verse 16 is telling us that we should walk by the spirit walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh now this i would love to call to our remembrance that we and we without the holy spirit we have a natural desires and that natural desires is um is an enmity with god that natural desires without the spirit of god is an enmity with god and verse 16 galatians 5 verse 16 says that so i say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh meaning that when we walk by the spirit of god we will not gratify the desires of the flesh meaning that this bible verse is not saying that the desires of the flesh will not come it is saying that these desires is going to come 
it will come but when we walk by the spirit we will not gratify the desires of the flesh when we walk by the spirit the desires of the flesh will not have a strong hold over our life when we walk by the spirit the desires of the, the flesh will not decide for us we are the one that will be in control and will be in charge now verse 17 says that for the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh they are in conflict with each other so that you are not you are not to do whatever you want so that you are not to do whatever you want see we are children of god and we are expected to do what the father wants we're expected to yield to the instructions of our father because we know the plans he has for us is what is best for us our desires is not is not in tune with the desires of god and we cannot just afford to be led by our desires or our emotion so today we are going to be praying that oh god as i step my feet into this week i am led by the spirit of god and somebody shout wherever you are and said i am led by the spirit of god so quickly before we go into prayer i would love to give a testimony Yesterday, we prayed about the urgency, the urgency in our assignments. And see, one thing I need you to know is that we are not just gathering here. God is really here. And he hears everything that we say. The Bible says that where two or more people gather, I am there. So I would love to give my testimony about the urgency of my assignment. So as I went into the day yesterday, I discovered that I felt the urgency in my assignment. Right? I, was, I, I felt the urgency because God orchestrated events that make me understand the urgency in my assignment. That makes me understand why I should not just meddle with the civilians. It made me understand that I'm a soldier that should be at my duty post because souls are surrounded by me. And my refusal to yield... It's going to it's going to cause souls to die and i discovered that i begin to understand the urgency of my assignments and during there was a particular time that i felt so much urge to pray even though i was pressing my phone and i was enjoying a particular video but i kept that i had that impression that strong impression to pray on a normal day i would have ignored the nudge and continue with the things i'm doing but the prayer brought me to the consciousness of the urgency in my assignment and i was able to feel that and i'm so glad that i was able to yield to the instructions of the spirit now why am i sharing my testimony i'm sharing my testimony because i need you to understand that we are not just gathering here we are gathering and god is god is aware of our gathering so i want you to take every prayer that we do yesterday because it's going to really spur up your spiritual growth and your relationship with God. It is going to spur up your relationship with God. So I want you to lift up your voice wherever you are and say that, Oh Lord, as I go into this week, I am led by your spirit. See, the only way you can be called the son of God is when you are led by the instructions, where you are led by the spirit and you yield to the instructions of the spirit. Oh, can you say, as I go into my week, I am led by the spirit. I do not follow my will. I do not yield to the desires of the flesh. I do not yield to the desires of the flesh. I yield to the desires of the spirit. Can you lift up your voice and pray? As I go into this week, I am led by the Spirit of God. I am led by the Spirit of God. I am led by the Spirit of God. I yield to the Spirit of God. I yield to the instructions of the Spirit. My fleshy desires are not gratified. I am led by the Spirit of God. I am led by the Spirit of God. I am led by the Spirit of God. I am led by the Spirit. 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 I walk in tune with the spirit. I walk in tune with the spirit. I am descending. I am descending. I I, I reflect the, the fruit of the spirit. I am led by the spirit. I do not gratify the desires of the flesh. Oh, I have the strength to refuse the desires of the flesh. I am strengthening this week. I walk by the spirit. I walk by the spirit. I walk by the spirit. See, when you walk by the spirit see you will not make costly mistakes even in your place of work or in your academics when you walk by the spirit life seems easy because the lord begin to direct your path and god knows what is best for us we begin to escape every every plans of darkness can you say i walk by the spirit of god as i go into this week i walk by the spirit i walk by the spirit i walk by the spirit i am led 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 by the spirit. I am led by the spirit of God. 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 I am led by the spirit. 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 I am led by the spirit of God. 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 Oh, Oh, 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. See, now I would love us to read from the book of Romans 8, verse 5. It says that those who live according to the flesh have their mindset on what the flesh desires. But those who live in the accordance with the Spirit have their mindset on what the Spirit desires. Oh, my mind is set on the things above. Can you say it? Can you declare it? As I go into this week, my mind is set on the things above. My mind is set on the things above. My mind is set on the things above. Oh Lord, my mind is set on the things above. My mind is set on the things above. My mind is set on the things above. My affections are set on the things above. Because that is what profit. That is what profit. That is what, what brings profit my soul that is what brings profit to my existence my mind is set on the things above i am conscious of god's presence as i go into this week i'm conscious of god's presence i am conscious of god's presence in my life i am conscious of god's presence in my life i have strength to say no to the desires of the flesh i have strength to say no to the desires of the flesh oh i yield to the instructions of the spirit my mind is set on the things above my mind is set on the things above Zadabragusa. My descendant spirit is heightened. My descendant spirit is heightened. Zado bratiata. Zagada bella begata pedosa. Rako pata. Regada gada pedosa. Zada gada bada bagata. I grow in my fellowship with God. I yield to the spirit. I yield to the spirit. When the spirit demands my time, I yield to the spirit. I study the world. I yield to the spirit. I put the word in action. I recosa. I bask in the joy of the Holy Ghost. I produce the fruit of the spirit effortlessly. As I go into this week, I am a representation of Christ. I am a representation of Christ. I am a representation of Christ. I preach the gospel effortlessly. I preach the gospel with boldness. For he has not given me the spirit of fear. I preach the gospel with boldness. Oh, I express the joy of the spirit. I express the joy of the Holy Ghost. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Oh, you never leave me. You said that you wouldn't forsake me. You are right beside me, and that is all that matters. Oh, you never leave me. You said that you wouldn't forsake me. You're right beside me, and that is all that matters. You are the covenant keeping God. Hey, you are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Dear Lord, thank you for being a covenant keeping God. And we stay tuned to your covenant this week. Covenant that you have made with your children. Coven the covenant of peace. The covenant of peace. Oh, we, we connect to your covenant as we go into this week. The covenant of health, long life. We connect into your covenant in the name of Jesus. Oh, as we go into this week, we are led by the Spirit. Ah, can you begin to declare into the, your week right now? My week is a productive week. My, my week is filled with, with good news. People are compelled to bless me. I enjoy the favor of the Lord as I go into this week. In the name of Jesus. I enter into the covenant of the Lord. The Bible says the righteous shall not be put to shame. I will not be put to shame in every area of my endeavors. The Bible says that where there is a casting down, there is a lifting up. I enjoy the lifting up of the Lord this week. I enjoy the mercy of the Lord. I enjoy the favor of the Lord. I enjoy the blessings of Saint Men. Zada Bradu Shekede Bedo Shatai. Reko Patam Bradiatai. Zede de Belebegede Belebegede. Zutian and Degebedo Shatai. Oh, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. As I go into this week, I bear upon me the mark of the Lord Jesus. No man troubles me because I bear the mark of the Lord Jesus. As I go into this week, I carry the whole armor of the Lord Jesus Christ and I am able to stand.
stand against the wheels and the trick of darkness. I receive the grace to stand against the tricks and the strategies of the devil. As I go into this week, I am wise. As I go into this week, I am wise. As I go into this week, I am wise. As I go into this week, I am wise. I am wise. I am wise. El Shatai. I make great decisions because I am led by the Spirit of God. Oh my week is full with so much joy. My week is filled with so much joy. I cancel every plans of darkness. I frustrate every plans of darkness over my life and over my ways. Oh the souls that comes in contact with me this week, they experience the joy of the Holy Ghost. They experience the deliverance in the name of Jesus. I am a light. I shine my light as I go into the week. When men see me, they favor me. Lord, place a mark of favor upon my destiny. As I go into this week, I experience the favor of God. As I go into this week, I experience the mercy of God. Oh Lord, multiply your mercy upon my head. I enter into the covenant of mercy. Oh Zada Pratu Oh men favors me. Men favors me. Men favors me. Men favors me. Zada die. Ragado. Oh Lord, you will bless the work of my hands. Oh Lord, you will cause for recommendations for the work of my hands. In the name of Jesus, I receive clarity in my path. As I go this week, I receive clarity. I am not confused. I know what to do. I know what to do. Oh, I know what to do. I am not confused. I refuse to be confused. I refuse to be confused. Oh, I grow in my fellowship with the Lord this week. I grow in my fellowship with the, with the Lord this week. I am disciplined. I am consistent. I am disciplined. I am consistent. My heart is set on the things above. Oh, my weeks is in the hands of the Lord. My week is in the hands of the Lord. I commit every heart that will be in contact with this week. Oh, they walk according to the will of God for my life. Oh, I uh, every heart that I come in contact with this week, they are compelled to favor me. Oh, I experience the favor of the Lord. I am favor personified. I am favor personified. Men are drawn to me this week to favor me. Men are drawn to me this week to show me favor. Men are drawn to me this week to show me favor. Men are concerned about me this week and they show me favor. They begin to meet my needs. Oh, shut up, but I, without asking, they begin to meet my needs. Without asking, they begin to meet my needs. Lord, you will send men. God, I know you are my source and men are channels. You will send men to bless me and you take all the glory over my life. You will take all the glory over my life. Oh Lord, you said delight in, your, in you and you will grant us the desires of our heart. Dear Lord, you grant unto me the desires of my heart. Lord, by the reason of delighting in you and your things, you will grant me the desires of my heart. Oh, my life is a fruitful field. My life is a fruitful field. My life is a fruitful and field in the name of Jesus. My mind is it. My my life is a fruitful field. I have spiritual advantage this week. I flourish on all sides. I flourish on all sides. I flourish on all sides. Lord, do what no man can do with my life. Do what no man can do with my life. Take my destiny to the next uh, next phrase, to the next greater height. Oh Lord, let my gift and my potential find expression. Oh Oh Place me where my gift and my potential find expression. Place me where my gift and my potential find expression. I am selfless this week. I am kind this week. Oh, I possess the fruit of the spirit. I possess the fruit of the spirit. Men that comes in contact with me this week are blessed. I am the carrier of God's presence. Oh, the fire of God is ignited inside of me. The fire of God is ignited inside of me. I have the power and the goodness to preach the gospel to the of the earth. I am heavenly conscious. I yield to the, 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 the I yield to the knowledge of the spirit. Oh Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Be to your name, Lord. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray for everyone that have joined this meeting. I pray for you that you receive the grace to be led by the Spirit as you go into your week. In the name of Jesus, you are led by the Spirit. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you for joining this meeting. God bless you. we we'll see you tomorrow again by God's grace. Same time, same venue. I do well to follow the Bible challenge as attached to this YouTube video. I do well to follow the Bible challenge. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.